Okay, so I'm taking another look at this Nexigo N940 webcam. I reviewed this thing a few weeks ago, and as you can see, I gave it a pretty bad review because of these hot spots that it's really just overexposed in some areas. And to give you a frame of reference, my lighting is on here and it's not very bright. It's not shining directly on me and it's diffused. So this is completely not the way this video should look, especially for a $100 webcam. But after doing that review, Nexigo reached out to me in an email and asked me for a couple sample clips and asked me, you know, what my lighting scenarios were. And um, I sent them those video clips and uh, they reached out to me uh, about a week after that with a firmware upgrade for this webcam. I haven't applied the firmware upgrade yet, but I'm going to do that in real time right now. And uh, before I do that, I'll just go into the configure video options here and we'll take a look at uh, what we actually have as far as like camera controls, which um, it gets worse when you take it out of auto mode. So I'm hoping this firmware upgrade fixes that. But uh, for example, if we take this um, out of auto exposure and start adjusting this, you see that it starts very dark and we don't have much improvement from there, but it can only really get darker. So um, I'm going to put that back in auto and we can also mess around with the brightness and contrast, but as you can see, it's still it doesn't really do anything to improve the picture. We've got these hot spots here on my uh, forehead and on my hand here. And if I turn it towards the light, you can see that it's really washed out here. I'm going to put everything back into default. And we can see off of the door back here that's very overexposed. This room is not this bright now. And um, this sh these are studio lights, so this should be fairly well uh, optimally lit. And they're diffused. So... Um, I've rambled enough. I'm going to get into the firmware upgrade for this webcam now, and we're going to see if this makes any difference. So um, I may need to take this out of OBS, or I may need to take the camera off of OBS while I upgrade the firmware. I'm not sure. I'm going to try it with it plugged into OBS, but basically uh, to do that, I've already unzipped the file that they emailed to me, and um, there's this uh, SF right tool right here and we've got the uh, bin here that we would run the binary file to update the firmware so I'm gonna get in here run this and that gives us this software here um, and this is the firmware that we would run and I th we hit download Okay, so it says fail, so please stop preview first. So what I'm going to do is um, close this out, and now I'm going to try it. Fail, please stop preview first. Okay, so this is how you do it. I think I need to close OBS before I can actually apply the firmware upgrade. So I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to uh, close OBS, and then once the firmware is upgraded, then I'm going to relaunch OBS, and we're going to take a look at the picture. So I'll be back in a few. Okay, so I'm back up and running now. The entire process took about 20 seconds to load the firmware to the uh, webcam, 20 or 30, something like that. But after it's done, I got this green success bar. I guess that's how you know that the uh, firmware completed and upgraded and everything looked good. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to go back into the um, Nexigo camera. So it's definitely better. It's not perfect. I still prefer the N660p, but when I get to the point where, you know, I'm sitting in the right spot um, and the light actually adjusts to what my what the lighting actually is in here, it looks better. What I'm going to do is go over and turn on a secondary light and flood the room with more light and see what happens there. And maybe then the camera will um, 
adjust itself better. It, this camera, does, I'm pretty well lit right now, but this camera does seem to be a bit of a light hog. So I'm going to go turn some more lights on in here and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so that made it worse. What I'm going to do is take the diffusion off the light. What This is probably going to make the, the image look worse when I take the, diffu the diffusion off. But we're going to try it anyway and see what happens. Yeah, so this is with no diffusion. But we've still got a hot spot here. But I will say that this firmware is a lot better than the previous firmware that was on this camera. Um, the old firmware was pretty bad. I'm going to tilt this light back up. And when I say that this is diffused, what I mean by that is that it's uh, the light is bouncing off of a uh, white vaulted ceiling. It's not an actual diffuser, uh, an actual diffuser, but it fulfills the same function. Um, let me take the brightness down a bit here. So we're definitely seeing improvement. Um, do I have my in 660p? Uh, here it is side by side with the N 660p. And I still don't think it's matched the quality of the N660P yet, but they're, it's pretty good. It's getting there. It's a lot better than the stock firmware, that's for sure. We can see now that things aren't so blown out. And when I take the lighting back up to where it probably should be, um, the big strength of the N660P is that when you go into the uh, N660P and make adjustments, you've got that fine control. So, uh, for example, if I go into the um, exposure control with the N660P, I can take this down and have decent control over that and get a really crisp picture out of that. We're going to take a look and see what the new firmware looks like um, in comparison to what the picture looked like with the old firmware. And, you know, I, I got to give props to Nexigo for actually wanting to fix the problem. I've never had any other company really want to work on their product. Uh, so good job, Nexigo. Keep it up.